Okay, now we are going to solve problem 3.21 from Sadiku book. So the question is find V1 and V2 using nodal analysis. And so we can start here. We will use the current here. It's going up and I will assume this going to the right and this also going to the right and this one we will assume that this will go down here and so we can have kcl at v1 so now we will have the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out the current that goes in is only this one from the current source 3 milliamp bar and then we will have this current that going here it is V1 minus V2 divided by 4 and then here we have this current plus we need to just name this V3 so we will have V1 minus V3 divided by 2 now we multiply both sides by 4 12 is equal to v1 minus v2 plus 2 v1 minus 2 v3 and then we have 12 is equal to v1 not v1 v1 plus 2 v1 is 3 v1 3 v1 minus v2 and then we will have minus 2 v3 okay now we need to eliminate this v3 uh, we will forget this equation for a while let's just save it as equation number one and then we can take a look at v2 and v3 here there is a voltage source here dependent voltage source so the value between v2 and v3 is equal to v0 so v2 minus v3 is equal to 3 v0 now if we look carefully this v0 here is equal to v2 so we will have v2 minus v3 is equal to 3 v2 and so we will have v3 is equal to minus 2 v2 and i will just save it as equation number two and then we can plug this into this one so we will have 12 is equal to 3 v1 minus v2 minus 2 minus 2 v2 and we can ignore this one minus v2 plus 4 it is plus 3 so 12 is equal to 3 v1 plus 3 v2 we can divide both sides by 3 so we will have 4 is equal to v1 plus v2 now we save this as equation number three and then we can go to the final notes we do kcl at v2 at v2 we will have this current here and this current here so the current that going in is or this one and this one we will have v1 minus v2 divided by 4 and then plus this current here this is series circuit so we can assume not assume the uh, current here will be the same as the current here so we can use this one it is v1 minus v3 
divided by 2 and that will equal to V2 divided by 1 and now we have V3 is equal to minus 2 V2 so we can change that to minus 2 v2 or I can just write it as plus 2 v2 plus 2 v2 okay now we can multiply both sides by 4 we will have v1 minus v2 plus 2 v1 plus 4 v2 and that will equal to 4 v2 and this one cancel each other and now we will have v1 v1 minus v2 plus 2 v1 so we will have 3 v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 and we can save this as equation number 4 now we can only look at equation number 3 and number 4 so I will erase this one with my eraser ok I will just use my finger then ok we we'll take a look at equation number 3 V1 plus v2 is equal to 4 and then this equation 3 v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 and I will sum these two equations so I will have 4 v1 is equal to 4 so I will have v1 is equal to 1 fourth And then because v1 plus v2 is 4 and we can plug this into this one so I will get v2 is equal to 3 4 so this is our final answer and let me know if you find any mistakes and thanks for watching